Rush you to take your seats, please. Can I take you? Am I all right? <laughs> oh dear. You have me crying <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> sure about a Guinness. <laughs> You are getting married, so if you want to hold hands, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Give him a bit of moral support. Jesus, you're <laughs> so, are you ready, Jacob? Just about. Good. <laughs> so, good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to Ferraris. To celebrate the marriage of Jacob and Hayley. I'm sure it means a great deal to them both to have you here today to witness their marriage and to share in this happy occasion. My name's Cathy Sivia and I'll be guiding you through today's ceremony. My friend and colleague is Hazel. Hazel has the more important role of witnessing the marriage, ensuring all the legal obligations are met before completing the signing of the marriage schedule at the end of the ceremony. And we both represent Lancashire Registration Service and we consider ourselves privileged in the jobs that we do, playing just a small part in your special day. Jacob and Haley wish to marry, for in each other's company they have found fulfilment and love. As a consequence of this love, they've drawn closer, and they now wish to offer to each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. And you are all here to witness this occasion and to share in the joy which is theirs. Now I have a question for you both, and the answer I'm hoping for is, I will, okay? So I'm going to start with you, Jacob. Jacob, will you take Hayley to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love, respect and care for her? I will. <laughs> and <laughs> Hayley, 
Will you take Jacob to be your lawful wedded husband? No. Will you love, respect, and care for him? <laughs> These next words I must address to all of you present. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Jacob Oliver Finch and Haley Marie Wardley. If there is any person present who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> I think you brought the right people with you. Today, <laughs> Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other today. And in keeping with tradition, Jacob, I'm going to start with you. So I need you to repeat these words after me. I declare, I declare that I know, that I know of, no legal reason of no legal reason why I, Jacob Oliver Finch, why I, Jacob Oliver Finch may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage to Haley Marie Wardle. To Haley Marie Wardle. Perfect. No pressure, no Haley. <laughs> I declare. I that I know, that I know of no legal reason, of no legal reason why I, Haley Marie Wardley, why I, Haley Marie Wardley, may not be joined in marriage, may not be joined in marriage to Jacob Oliver Finch. To Jacob Oliver Finch. Now the solemn moment has come for Jacob and <coughs> Haley to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses. So I'd like to ask our special witnesses, Jody and James, if you can join us at the front, please. And if you can just stand either side of our couple, that's perfect. And can you two turn and face each other, joining both sets of hands, because these are the words that are going to bind you in marriage. So I'm going to ask you to go first, Jacob. So you're saying these words to Hayley, but you're repeating them after me. Yes. I, Jacob Oliver Finch... I, Jacob Oliver Finch. Take you, Haley Marie Wardley. Take you, Haley Marie Wardley. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Perfect. And Haley. I, Haley Marie Wardley. <laughs> I, Haley Marie Wardley. Take you, Jacob Oliver Finch. Take you, Jacob Oliver Finch. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> and if you can just stay like that for me. Because Jacob and Haley have chosen to make some additional vows to each other today, which more closely reflect their true feelings. So again, Jacob, if you can go first, repeating after me. Haley, I promise. Haley, I promise to love you forever. To love you forever. To be open, honest, and faithful to, to be you. Open, honest, and faithful to you. To support your dreams. To support your dreams. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. I promise to stand with you. I promise to stand with as you. As we share this life. As we share this life. And cherish the memories. And, cher and cherish the memories we make together. We make together. Lovely. And Haley. Jacob, I promise, Jacob, I promise. To, love <coughs> to love you forever. To be open, honest, and faithful to you. To be open, honest, and faithful to you. To support your dreams. To support your dreams. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. I promise to stand with you. I promise to stand with as you. We share this life as we share this life. And cherish the memories. And cherish the memories. We make together. We make together. Lovely. And. If you would like to take your seat, Jodie, but I'm going to ask James to stay because it is his big moment now, uh, <laughs> because we have come to the exchange of rings, which is the traditional way of sealing the vows you two have just made. So I'm hoping you've got them in the palm of your hand. Perfect. So can you take Hayley's ring first for me, please? I think we know which one it is. So I think so. <laughs> and can I ask you to hold it just halfway on her finger for me, Jacob, please? And repeat these words after me. Haley, I give you this ring. Haley, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. <laughs> all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. 
I've got to say it a bit. <laughs> May this ring. May this ring <laughs> remind, remind me of this moment. Of this moment. That's fine. Yeah. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. And place it very gently all the way on her finger. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So Hayley, if you could take Jacob's ring and you can take your seat again, James, thank you. So if you can place it halfway on his finger and repeat these words after me. Jacob, I give you this ring. Jacob, I give you this as ring. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. Place it very gently all the way on this finger. All that your wedding rings are unbroken circles, symbolising unending and everlasting love, and are the outward sign of the lifelong promises you've made to each other today. So wear your rings with love and pride today and always. So Jacob and Haley today forms a milestone in your lives together. You've publicly declared your love and commitment to each other, and you've changed your status in the eyes of the law. We hope that the feelings of love that you clearly have for each other today will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. I'm sure they will, particularly in that Cyprus sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, Jacob and Haley have now made the declarations prescribed by law and made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends. And having symbolised your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, it is my privilege and indeed great pleasure to tell you, you are legally married, husband and wife, and it's traditionally sealed with a kiss. Congratulations to you both. Now what I'd like you to do, Jacob, is to escort your wife round to this side of the table. Apart from anything else, I just want you to double check I've got your number and how many people you rank. Thank you.